It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. So what is going on everybody? It's your favorite ninja, Sets BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, here with another video on the new World War II Zombies DLC, The Tortured Path. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the correct way to get the Sword of Barbarossa on the survival map, Altar of Blood. The Altar of Blood is the third map which you unlock from completing the main easter egg and getting the cutscene. Now this sword is really awesome and I can't wait for you guys to get a chance to try it out for yourselves. But before we get into the video, I just want to clear something up. Won't take more than a minute. Now a lot of people are getting confused about this easter egg and the reason is frustrating. I say correct way purposely because again, like usual, I've seen a bunch of people who watched our stream when we hunted this easter egg, rushed into games, and make guides once me, Dubbed Out, and Daily Gamer Nick figured out the steps. Without understanding it yet, just to try and make a guide as quick as possible to cash in on the views. Now, I'm not trying to cause an issue, but how can you teach people to do things when you don't fully understand it yourself? This is the problem I have because both guides I saw posted already are telling you that you have to go down to get the sword, and that is completely not true. To the people who are guilty of doing this, in the future, don't rush your guides. It's not worth the 30 extra views, especially when you didn't hunt them at all and are just copying what you see. Now that I've said my piece, let's get on with it, shall we? Now, this easter egg is fairly simple and in my opinion completely worth doing if you're looking to go for some high rounds on the survival map Altar of Blood. To start this easter egg, I would suggest you have about 15,000 jolts as it requires you to make a sacrifice of 1750 jolts at each of the four circular pressure pads on the map. Once you have dropped enough jolts, you will see a small spark of red lightning on the pad. That's how you know you're finished and can move on to the next one. Now once you have made your sacrifice to each of the four pads on the map, go into the throne room located in the center of the map where the traps is located. And now it's time to make the sacrifice to the three bowls you see positioned at the center of the room. As you did before, just make sure you're dropping jolts in front of the bowl far enough to where you're not picking them back up. When you sacrifice the total of 1750 in each of the three bowls, you will see the same spark of red lightning indicating that you have done this correctly. Now what you want to do is move on to the next bowl and just rinse and repeat. Once that bowl is finished, move on to the third bowl, put your jolts down, wait for the spark, and you're on to the next step. And now there should be a white glowing circle surrounding the pool of blood in the trap. As you see here in this footage, all you have to do now is make one more sacrifice of a shield and some health. As you can see here, once the zombie took all my shield away, it hit me once more where it should have downed me, but it automatically regenerated my yellow health bar and gave me the sword. And there you have it, easter egg complete. Now, one thing I want to make sure everybody is clear on, this is an individual easter egg. Every player inside your game must make those sacrifices and follow these steps in order to get the sword. You can't have one person do the steps and give everybody the sword. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go into detail about this sword. Oh boy is it handy. One of the attacks, if you hit the actual melee button, it will release a charge of energy killing anything in its path just like it did in the Shadowed Throne. And not only does it bring zombies to their knees and make them bow down to you when you strike a zombie with the shoot button, it also comes in really handy for blocking doorways with groups of zombies who are kneeling, and very handy for stopping trains. All it takes is for you to hit one zombie with the swing, and if any zombies touch that zombie, they will also bow down. All in all, I think this sword is so OP and so much fun to use when you're having fun on these survival maps. I highly recommend you all to finish the easter egg and unlock the maps. Have some fun with it yourselves. Anyway, I hope this video helped you all out. 
and I hope you have fun playing with this cool sword on the altar of blood. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. I'm set to be K1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace!